Lashers have one of the most hazardous jobs on the waterfront. They often work from heights and in tight spaces while wielding heavy and cumbersome lashing rods, all while keeping track of containers being loaded or discharged nearby. In this job, a distraction or mishap could result in serious injury, or it could be fatal. The incident you are about to see actually happened and resulted in the death of a longshore worker. A lasher was working alone on the pedestal of a ship using a three-high lashing rod to secure a container. He lost control of the rod and it caught on his unzipped coveralls. The rod pulled him over the guardrail and he fell to the dock below. He landed on his head and was killed. How did this happen? The lasher was working alone on a pedestal platform, attempting to manipulate a long lashing rod into place. The guardrail on the platform was too low and measures were not put in place to guard against a fall. Most standards state that guardrails should be at least 36 inches high. When guardrails don't meet minimum standards, there should be another form of fall protection in place, such as the addition of a temporary railing. When this is impractical, the use of a fall arrest system may be necessary. Another possible factor in this incident might have been the lasher's loose clothing. The rod may have fallen freely if it hadn't caught on the man's loose coverall. Before starting work, take stock of your surroundings by doing a personal hazard analysis. Look for unprotected edges, sometimes referred to as unguarded edges, slippery decks, tripping hazards such as lashing gear, cables, or deck fittings that you will have to navigate. Look for overhead hazards that could result in something falling on you, open manhole covers, fall hazards between catwalks, and poor lighting. If you will be working near the water, find out if a personal flotation device, PFD, will be required. Check your gear for loose clothing or straps that could snag. Know what the plan is for loading and discharging containers in the vicinity of your work and stay well clear. A cone, dunnage, lashing rod, and or debris can fall from containers and it can travel a surprising horizontal distance from where it originally drops. If you find that you will be working close to an unprotected edge, consult supervision. Guarding may need to be put in place or you may need to don fall arrest gear never work alongside an unprotected edge. Lashers should always work in teams of two. Doing so will give you better control over rods and turnbuckles. Mishandled, rods can fall on a partner. They could smash a finger, knock your teeth out, or worse. Pay special attention when one partner is less experienced and when working in tight spaces, such as on pedestals. In these cases, try to pair up with an experienced lasher the worker who was killed should have been working with a partner. Handling rods, especially long lashing rods in tight spaces, requires some knowledge and some good teamwork to do it safely. Communicate any hazard you see with other workers and supervision, especially when there's other work going on around you. Keep an eye on the crane. Don't put yourself where a load passes over you. If you see your partner take a safety shortcut, speak up they may not see the hazard that you do. Speaking up could prevent you or your partner from getting hurt or killed. If you are unfamiliar with any lashing gear or equipment, stop and ask your partner or the foreman and work it out. Report defective equipment to a supervisor and take it out of service. Do not use it. Lashing is a job that can get easier with skill as you learn how to handle the gear correctly and safely. Stay in control of rods while lifting or lowering them. If they're too heavy, get help. Never throw rods, lean them against containers or leave rods hanging, such as pre-hanging rods or leaving the rod hanging after breaking loose a turnbuckle. A falling lashing rod is a serious hazard, one that can be silent 
and deadly. Lashing operations can be hazardous. It is a job that requires constant attention to your surroundings, good teamwork, and active communication as you navigate to complete your task. A risky reach near an unguarded edge, a moment of distraction, or a safety shortcut could result in you never going home to your family. Don't let a tragedy happen to you.